Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Brooke Rogers with Kiwi's Party. I'm gonna be doing a demo for you of this rainbow skull design with it's like my skin peeling off of it and there's this rainbow skeleton underneath. I uh, use zombie skin. My first time trying this stuff out, literally. I put it on my face and I smeared it around with like the blunt end of the little lollipop stick um, that you guys usually use for those star blend paints. So I smeared that around, and uh, of course, you know, I was trying to be careful not to get it on my eyebrow, but I got it a little bit on my hair, but fix that. <laughs> smeared it around, just kind of vaguely putting a design around my eye a little bit, and I wanted to give time for that to dry, so I went ahead and started applying my white base coat. I used the Mycon paints, the really creamy ones. Apply it all the way around the eye, just trying to get a nice smooth coverage. And what's really cool about these paints is you can put them on wet or dry. So the white I put on wet, this pink I put on dry with like a little eyeshadow brush that I got off of Amazon. So I put it around um, my eye, which is going to be where the skeleton is not at. It's like a more of a, a makeup look. And, and then I got the red and I kind of put a little shadow. I'm not a makeup artist, so um, you know how they do those cut creases. Kind of going for that kind of look, but you know, then again, it's not really my thing to do the makeup, but yeah, I, have, I have fun with it. So I got the black just to do a little bit more shadowing. And of course, you know, looking back at it now, I, I should have blended it some more, but that's okay. Just keep it moving, right? Uh, I got the white did a little highlighting. I have to say when it was all done, I didn't notice that I didn't blend that in as well. But right now, like I'm looking at it like, oh gosh, I should have blended that in so much better. Um, adding in some white, just some color, added some pink in there. Um, now I'm going to go ahead, I think this is dry, so I'm going to start peeling it back because uh, this is going to be where my skin is peeling back and it reveals there's this rainbow kind of skeleton design underneath. So I'm going to peel away from where the skeleton design is going to be. Right here on my cheek, you know, I'm seeing that I have like little bitty baby hair. So, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, but right there where I must have sideburns, I could definitely feel it pulling my hair. <laughs> so, you know, free wax job, right? Um... I'm just rolling it up right here. It was actually really easy to move around. I thought I was going to have to like pick it a little bit more, but no, it was pretty easy. Pushed it up. I think I pretty much got most of it. There's a little hanging skin, but I figured, hey, all the better, right? Because it's as good as it doesn't have to be perfect. So I went ahead and added a little bit more of the white where I have peeled that zombie skin back from. And then I'm just going to get it nice and even all over. Went ahead and fast forwarded. Uh, this is a tag rainbow cake. You can get any rainbow really, but this one's really pretty. Um, I'll see if I can't find the name for that one. And I put it coming out from my mouth in random directions, kind of spraying outward. And I didn't want it to be just like a true rainbow just laid down. So I kind of speckled in some blue in some places that didn't go in the same uh, color combo. I just wanted it to kind of be a little bit random, but really, really colorful. So this rainbow cake just did the job perfect. Brought it out a little bit and then it looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go in with the black mic and paint now. And I'm going to put that on my lips to kind of like flick it up. Just bringing the color, the black, you know, um, up into the little rainbow, blending it in. Because that's where I'm going to, I'm going to lay those, the teeth on top of the black. But I want to be able to see the rainbow and the black and all that. So I'm just going to kind of spread it out, blending it out a little bit. And then I want it to be larger than my lips on the side. So I bring it out just a little bit on the sides, flicking it up. I want it to be irregular too. Like I don't want it to be just totally even the entire way because once I put the teeth on, I want to see a little bit of that black. So um, pulling that back. There we go. 
I'm looking really weird now. Uh, I got the pink Micam paint and I'm again dry brushing it. I just thought I'd really try these paints out dry brushing them. Um, I like the paints wet and creamy, but you know, this is a nice way to go with it too. And even though that that white paint was put on wet, me putting the dry brush with the pink on top, I had no issues. Don't know what issues would have happened, but I didn't have any and it went on really good. And I could kind of work it up gradually and and I guess, you know, when you put it on wet, it, it still blends really good. But when you put wet paint on top of dry paint, sometimes the blending doesn't work as well, right? So um, me putting this dry brush on top of this dry white paint worked really good. And here's me just, you know, trying to work some makeup magic again. Um, <laughs> I dry brushed the pink up on my nose. I'm going to do some red, too. Um, but first, oh yeah, I highlighted right there on my eyelid, and there's the red. This is uh, dry as well. I believe at some point I had to wet my brush a little bit, and I think it's when I did the black next. But right here, it's dry brush with the red. I'm going to kind of go around my nose um, in the little skeleton hollowed out area where the pink's still in the middle the red on the outer corner, and then the black. So it kind of gradually gets a little darker. So here's where I am still using the brush dry, and I get the black. So it works really good for shadowing. Okay, so I think that I got was a little moisture on my brush at this point because the black got a little darker. I remember I added some... Uh, moisture from a damp wipe and then I got in the black which made it a little darker um, here I'm just adding in some more shadowing coming down from the jawline blending it in a little bit I just trying to give um, a line where I undecided if I was gonna bring the teeth really far out or not so I'm just kind of giving myself a, a line to follow just having fun with the paints and experimenting with the zombie skin and dry brushing with this Micam paints is kind of what I was going with. So just adding in some pink coloring here and there. Uh, I decided that this uh, zombie skin had a yellowish tint so I got some of my foundation and put it right over the edges and it covered it up fine. I didn't have any um, like where it wouldn't cover like on top of a uh, rubber or something it worked over the zombie skin just as well as it did my face so and I tried to go back in with some highlights and I wasn't sure if that did anything at all so <laughs> I just ignored doing the white on top of the zombie skin highlights you know it's a work in progress so I got in what is this Micam paints in the pink and a little bit of black on it, just adding some shadows underneath that zombie skin line. I really want it to look 3D, so I'm playing around with just a little bit of shadowing. Working it around. If, it, if I saw any brush strokes, I just rubbed it in with my fingers. I really wish I would have put more shadow right along. Um, my hairline so that it would be more like uh, the bone and shadowing around the hairline but you know whatever it is still was fun um, I'm doing the teeth now and yeah I know I messed up I was covering and you can't see when I do that but I'm just kind of laying my paintbrush down and wiggling it just a little bit just trying to get the teeth on there even and then I realized you know I messed up a little bit here and there but it was okay because um, I can just go back over with the black paint and kind of straighten out um, my teeth and my line work a little bit where I messed up but you know overall I felt like they were a good placement I think I decided that this was pretty much as far back as I really, really needed to go. 
right about in here so I didn't bring the teeth all the way back or do any kind of 3D effects with the teeth. So here I have my black paint. I'm kind of going in between where the teeth are supposed to meet. I'm cleaning up that white where I didn't really make as clean of a line with the teeth as I wanted and I'm just adding in a little bit of lines in between the teeth and flicking it up. Here I'm adding just a more black so you have a, a sharper contrast and it bring that up and yeah, I'm going to shadow it in. I think I could have gone even darker around the eye than I ended up with on the skeleton side, but it it was okay. I, I think I could have gone just heavier with the black. So I wish I would have done that, but ended up being fine. Here I decided to add in some more shadows, bringing the black around. So I brought the black around the jawline and on the side, but I kind of forgot to do it on the hairline, on the bone side. And right now I'm using that shadow brush again, and it's dry for the most part right now. So you can see that the paint's not really um, opaque right now. It's very much like a shadow um, and that's when I'm just kind of going to work in the lines in the neck and just play around with the dry brushing some more. Now I think oh, okay it's, it's looking pretty good. So tiny little details I'm still working with. Eyeliner. I like to lay my eyeliner down um, with the side of my brush so it doesn't tickle as much. And I need some little false eyelashes coming down, but then I was like, wait a minute, I need real eyelashes so I can really ump up this makeup eye. So I added some little cracks here and there coming out from the teeth. This is not a face, of course, to do at a birthday party. This is a face for Halloween. If you have a Halloween appointment and you have time to do zombie skin detail work and have fun with it. I am going to put in my eyelashes. I use hair glue, just so you guys know. Uh, the reason why I like it is because it is more tacky. It's easier to work with. It's black. Um, if you get it on your paint and you lay it down the wrong place, it's going to mess up your um, paint job. But I'm pretty good about placing it. And if you use eyelash glue, sometimes if you don't wait long enough, it's not tacky enough. So it's like I thought I was done, but then I was like, oh yeah. Let me put some contacts in and have even more fun with it. As you can see, I pulled out all of the stops that I knew how to do. So, pulling my eyelid back, popped in the contact, and then I said, okay, if I'm a skeleton on this side, then this should not have all this hair over here. I should pull my hair back on the skeleton side. Voila! I hope you guys enjoyed. You can get all these supplies at the face paint form shop, even this zombie skin, and I'll see you guys next time.